Hello friends and welcome to TechyJack. In this video, we are going to deploy our Edge Transport Server role for our Exchange Server 2016. So before moving ahead and installing this uh, Edge Transport Server role, there are few requirements for Edge Transport Server role. So let's see what are those requirements are. Those requirements are like uh, ADLDS feature because uh, anyhow our Edge Transport Server role has to communicate with the Active Directory system so we have to make a DNS entry as well uh, and we have to make a DNS suffix uh, on our edge transport server and after that we have to install .NET framework visual C++ redistributable package and once all these are on place after that we can install our edge transport server role so let's move on to our server and try to install these feature So right now we are on a server and let's open the Hyper-V manager and here you can see the exchange server has an IP of 192.168.2.12 and this is my another Hyper-V server where I have a client 2 and edge server. So the IP address of the edge server is 192.168.2.16 let me quickly connect this and you can see the IP is 16 and the DNS server has an IP of 192.168.2.4 we have to point its DNS to our Active Directory DNS so the IP configuration I hope you got the IP configuration settings and let me close this and let's see the properties of computer the computer name is Edge and it's in a work group so basically if you see the change setting here you usually change the computer name and here you join the domain but uh, in the edge server we don't want to join it as a domain it should be in a work group uh, here you can see the more setting we have to click on more and here we have to give the DNS suffix like uh, the DNS suffix will be techiejack.com and click on OK okay close restart now now the computer is going to restart and by the way when it's getting restarted let's go and see the our server DNS setting and we'll um, create a new host a record for our edge server so let me go to the DNS here we can see like we don't have any host A record for our edge server so what we will do here we will create a new host A record and the uh, IP will be it's EDG edge and the IP is 192.168.2.16 and add host A record click on OK and done the DNS entry has been done so let's quickly close it and let me see if it has restarted or not okay it is let me log into this one now we can see our computer properties though it's not joined uh, to our Active Directory but you can see the name the computer name is like full name is edge.techiejack.com and if you see here the change settings the domain name here it's not joined as a domain so now we have to install Active Directory ADLDS so there are two way like either you can just click on add role and feature click on next click on next uh, check the name of your edge server and the IP address and click on next and you have to select the active directory lightweight directory service but I'm not going to do it this way I will just go and go with the PowerShell 
so let's open the PowerShell okay here it is Windows PowerShell just type here install Windows feature ADLDS and hit enter now it's collecting the data and it will install the ADLDS on our system and I hope it will get restarted starting the installation and installation is completed now so let me restart it once again and let's see if it is installed or not I'll just restart this once we are back to the server and let's see if we have it installed or not right now you can see here like uh, Active Directory Lightweight Directory Service has been installed so let's cancel this and let me go to the browser here I have like uh, Exchange 2016 pre request for Active Directory and if you move down here you can google this for like uh, pre request for Exchange Server 2016 and you will get this uh, page and here you can see the Exchange 2016 Edge Transport Server on Windows Server 2016 we are using Windows Server 2016 and we are installing edge transport so like this one we have already done and we have to do this one and this is step so I have opened this page and for dotnet framework 7.4.7.1 let me download this and this will be downloaded and I will also download the C++ redistributable for Visual Studio I will also download this and this is a 64 bit so next click on save so let's see if it is downloaded or not okay so first of all I will run this setup it will take some time I will pause the video while it's getting extracted and installed and I'll resume later on. I got this error like it says uh, .NET uh, Frameworks 4.7.1 or later update is already installed in this computer so I will close this because it is already installed and let's move to the another one that is a C++ redistributable package and let me minimize this say I agree and install now it is also installed the setup has been successfully installed so where all the pre-requests for edge transport server is done like we have created the DNS entry for our edge transport server we have created our DNS suffix we have installed that uh, .NET framework is already installed we have installed ADLDS and re uh, C++ redistributable package is also installed so let's try to ping uh, our server from here like ping 192 that is our active directory server 168.2 sorry 2.4 okay we are getting reply now we are on a active directory server and let's see if we are able to ping h dot techiejack.com okay we are not able to ping this one because uh, we have to check the firewall for this in order to check the firewall I would suggest you to go with like firewall.cpl and do not just turn off your firewall because I just don't want you to turn off the firewall because right now we are work dealing with a edge server so you can go to the advanced settings and just for the inbound rule look for the ICMP 
okay the ICMP just enable this rule and I hope uh, now we will be able to ping yeah the 16 is our IP that means our Active Directory computer is able to ping our edge server now so the communication is fine and from our edge server we we are able to ping our server like if we see here we are able to ping 192.160 I want to make you sure because b without this you might face a problem later on this thing should be in a place like we are able to communicate with both end with IP version 4 though it's also by the name if we look for the DNS name for the edge.techiejack.com it's just going with for the uh, IP version 6 still pinging edge.techiejack.com ping edge.com that means that is fine so make sure you all these settings are done so now let's go to the edge server and start our installation and let's see if we get any errors or not so here I have exchange setup and I'll just do a mount and you can go for setup like you have to find the setup file and just double click on this setup file and our installation will begin in a moment let me minimize this and also minimize the firewall settings right now I'm not going to check the update because the purpose is just to install the edge server and it's copying the file though it takes some time but it will not take that much of time uh, like the mailbox server role because in the, uh, there we have a 14 or 15 steps but now uh, here we have less step than the mailbox server so the files are copying and once the files are copied it will start the installation I want to um, make the video short but uh, the thing is that the, if you have if you don't have a DNS part correctly uh, configured that means you will face a problem with your edge server so DNS part should be there in a proper way and all the pre-requests are in a proper way before uh, initiating the installation of your edge server because if you do it like uh, in a way we are doing here uh, at the time you will not get any error or any problem while installing your edge transport server role so let me pause the video for a while uh, it's copying the file file is copied and now it's initializing the step for further like uh, its setup is preparing the necessary resources before it can continue to the next step so now it's asking us to proceed with the next step it's an introduction page let me click on next and here we have to accept the license agreement click on next I'll go with the recommended settings and here we don't want to install the mailbox server role we have already installed it so here we are concerned about the edge transport role so I will just click on edge and will also click on that automatically install windows role and feature that are required so click on next and finally the default location is program file Microsoft Exchange Server v15 for Exchange 2016 so click on next by selecting the default location and now it's configuring the pre-request like all the pre-requests will be fine then it will go and proceed further if there is any requirement like any pre-request has been a pending that means we have to follow that pre-request first and after that we can install it I hope we have already installed the pre-request so the installation should go through and I'll pause the video for a while now the pre-request analysis has been done like almost complete hundred percent 
and let me click on install and here we have a nine steps like copying exchange files the step two is copying the exchange file and it will take a bit time I will keep pausing the video and resuming it for step by step now the third step is for the language file it's just copying the language files now fourth step has been quickly moved on and the fifth step is also for the language now it's installing the edge transport role on the step 7 and I'm trying to keep the video short that's why I'm just keeping like pausing and resuming the video now in the eighth step it is finalizing the setup and the ninth uh, step will be like the setup has been completed so let's wait for this step as well you can see the setup has been completed without any errors so uh, if you want to install uh, edge transport server role without any error I can assure you if you go with these steps you will not get any error so now the installation has been done and it's saying like congratulations setup has been finished successfully so let me click on finish so now our edge transport server role has been installed and what's the next step the next step in our next video we will be creating our edge subscription and edge sync so let's meet in the next video